here today filming my tutorial on how I got my blue ombre hair. Again, this lighting in here isn't that great, um, but this is kind of the only time that I could film today. So I'm sorry for the lighting. I will add in some photos so you can see the color a little bit more clearly. So this video um, is basically how I got my ombre hair. I am only going to show you how I colored my hair extensions and not the hair on my head because I've done many other videos. I'll link them down below showing how to do like a cleansing bleach bath and how to apply an all over color. Um, so I won't show that. I will show you though how to get a beautiful gradient effect in hair extensions. Um, so before we start, obviously just quickly touching on my hair. Um, I did do a bleach bath first. I will link the tutorial on how to do a bleach bath in the down bar below. It's in my um, from brunette to red video. And all I did was apply a darker blue pretty much on this much of my root area. And all I did was like grab a tint brush, paint it on, and then fold the section over, paint it on again, and, and go from there. And then all the ends that were left out, I just put this gorgeous turquoise shade on. Oh, where's the light? Um, <laughs> this gorgeous turquoise shade on and just kind of blended it in. So it was very, very simple, but I will show you guys a lot more on how to blend when I do my extensions. Firstly, the color that I use today is La Riche Directions hair color. Normally I am a fudge girl, um, <laughs> or when I was hairdressing, I loved Illumin. I tried to buy some Illumin online, but they couldn't ship it to me because it's very flammable, um, which was a real bummer because I really, really, really wanted to use Illumin. Um, as I said pr previously, I have used fudge, but fudge is quite expensive. Um, I did look online to try and see if I can get it cheaper, but I couldn't really find any places to sell it cheaper. It is roughly about $18 for 75 mils, which is not enough for my hair. I, I need at least like six tubes of fudge if I want to do my whole head. Um, including extensions so I was like that's gonna be really expensive um, so I looked online and I did find La Riche Directions hair color I'll link it in the down bar below where I got it from um, when I purchased it I don't know if they still have this deal but they had free express shipping so I was like oh yeah um, <laughs> so I ended up buying six of these um, these are a lot cheaper than what fudge is and you get more color they're 88 mils and gosh, I think they're about $14 to buy. Don't quote me on that. I will have I will have the like the proper details in the link below, in the down bar below. Sorry, I just my brain is fried. I'm still recovering from New Year's, I swear. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so I bought those colours and the great thing about them is they're very, very conditioning on your hair. They're a semi-permanent hair colour, they're not tested on animals and you don't need to use any peroxide or anything so they're fantastic on your hair. It's basically like using a conditioning treatment that will colour your hair at the same time. So I'll just show you the consistency. As you can see it's kind of like a gel. Um, with these types of colours there's no real processing time. They did say like 15 minutes but I left mine in for like 2 hours. Um, and just wrapped it up in cling wrap and just walked around and did all my cleaning and everything like that. So there's no real processing time with these. Obviously the longer you leave it, the more intense colour you will get. So the colours that I bought um, was neon blue. I'll put a little um, thing, uh, <laughs> was neon blue. So as you can see by that picture, that is the colour that I used on my roots. It is the darkest shade and I used a whole one of these just to do this much of my roots throughout my whole head. Um, <laughs> so then the colour that I blended it out with is turquoise. I will show you, I do have more turquoise left. I bought two bottles of the turquoise, which is here. Gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Um, and then I did put a little bit just mixed in with within a turquoise of Lagoon Blue um, which is that colour you've already seen and for the ends I'm going to mix it with some white toner the great thing about this even though it looks purple I mean this will give a beautiful white effect for blondes if you've got kind of yellow hair but you can intermix this with any other colour to make a more pastel or paler result so I'm going to do that to really help grade and fade out my extensions okay so let's get into the good stuff coloring so what you want to do is ensure that 
your hair will match up with the extensions. Don't want to have, for instance, the turquoise hair here, and then your extensions that you've blended are turquoise only to here, and then they're pale turquoise. You want to make sure that they're whatever colour to the length of your hair, and then they start the ombre after that. That way it's going to look, not natural, but it's going to look more like it's your own hair. What you want to do is use a marker on your extensions. What I'm going to do is just apply my extensions. I'm only really going to do one because the same guide is going to match for the rest of them. So you want to ensure that you're putting it in the center of your hair because that is where your hair is pretty much the longest. If you not, if you get what I mean, because depending on how your hair is cut, the hair from the nape of your neck doesn't have as far to stretch as the hair from around your crown. So ensure that you put them around your crown area. And you might want to ensure that you've got like an old top on. <laughs> I probably should put an old top on, but oh well. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm going to do is literally just paint a line here. So I know that that's where my hair stops. So the rest of this will be a gradient ombre effect. And this will still be the turquoise shade. Just using a tint brush and a little bit of the turquoise. Just popping, as you can see, it's only a tiny amount. And where my hair is, paint a line on your blonde extensions. See? So that is going to be my guide. Okay, so I like to work with one hair extension at a time. As you can see, I've laid this one out on a piece of aluminium foil. So what I'm doing is starting with the darkest blue at the roots. Make sure you really work it in well to the hair extension band and also flip the hair extension over and make sure you colour the other side. You don't want any blonde bits peeking through. So really focus on drenching that with the colour. Moving on to turquoise. As you can see, I'm kind of using a stroking motion, dragging some of the darker blue into the turquoise this is really what's going to make it blend and give you that kind of seamless result so just take your time and make sure you're happy with the result before you move on to the next shade what I'm also doing is dragging a few bits of the turquoise color through a little bit further this way it is really going to give you more of a blended seamless result once all the colors finished so now all that's left to do is go through it with your palest turquoise shade. You can even have it fading out to blonde if you like, but I've decided to go with the pale turquoise. So just make sure it's really worked in well. It's even a good idea to get in there with your hands and make sure it's really well blended. So once all your extensions are coloured, I've just wrapped it up with a little bit of aluminium foil and let that process for an hour or however long you want it to process for. Once you're done, make sure you give it two good shampoos and a condition, but just make sure when you're shampooing it that you're not kind of rubbing it in between your hands. Just run the shampoo through in the direction that the hair cuticle flows. have the finished result. I often get asked how I keep my colour very vibrant but what I do is mix a little bit of this colour in with my conditioner so every time I condition my hair I get a kind of colour injection like a boost of colour um, yeah which is great it just keeps it looking fresh and awesome. <laughs> I mean I don't wash my hair that often only probably twice a week once or twice a week so that works well for me. If you wash your hair every day, I'd probably only add colour into your conditioner once or twice a week. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.